Nobody cares about swimming. What? While sports like basketball, football, baseball, and soccer pull in billions of dollars and hundreds of millions of TV viewers, swimming doesn't even come close. Why is it that swimmers have millions of fans cheering them on at the Olympics but are left hung out to dry between Olympic competitions? And why does it seem like Michael Phelps is the only swimmer to ever break out into mainstream media? He has 28 Olympic medals, broken multiple world records, he's the swimming goat, the greatest of all time, but even with all that fame and all those accolades, swimming just isn't as popular as other sports. Football fans are a cult, while swimming fans are practically non-existent. But times are changing, and there's something that's about to change all of this. But first, let me tell you why no one cares about swimming. Money. The first reason why swimming isn't as popular comes down to cold, hard cash. It always does. Big sports like football, soccer, and basketball have astronomical budgets and pull in hundreds of millions of dollars, if not billions, in revenue every single year. And swimming is not even close. In 2022, swimming's global governing body, World Aquatics, brought in just over 13 million in sponsorship and broadcast revenue. That's really good, right? Well, when you compare that to the United States National Basketball Association's whopping $1.4 billion sponsorship revenue for the 22-2023 season, swimming is a small fish in a huge pond. So why is the revenue so low? It comes down to a few things. First, the amount of competitions. In swimming, there aren't as many high-profile competitions as there are in other sports. The NBA playoffs and finals happen every year and last over a month. While the Swimming World Championships are just a week long and they happen every two years. And that's a lot less opportunity for big time sponsorships. Swim meets still have sponsors, but not even close to the scale of other sports. And this is due in part to the fact that attendance at swim meets isn't anywhere near basketball, baseball, or even a football game. More money means more resources to support teams, pay athletes, and grow the sport in general. And if you're interested in learning just how much money professional swimmers make, check out the video I made on that topic after watching this one. Reason number two, it doesn't get that much TV time. I mean, Sunday Night Football is a weekly event in the United States. Millions of people gather around the TV to watch every single game without fail. In fact, the 2023 Super Bowl drew in 155 million viewers from around the world. And for our true football fans, the UEFA Champions League final received an estimated 450 million viewers. Now those are some massive numbers, and swimming just doesn't stack up outside of the Olympics. But that doesn't mean swimming is never on TV. While NBC has not released their official numbers, they've said that swimming, gymnastics, and track and field are the most popular sports during the Olympics. And at the 2016 Games in Rio, 32 million people tuned in to watch Michael Phelps swim the last race of his career. Now that's pretty measly compared to nearly half a billion viewers the UEFA gets. But beyond the Olympics, you can occasionally get other large swimming competitions on TV. You can see the World Championships or US National Championships, but two things are for sure. It won't always be in the prime time slot, and it definitely won't have tens of millions of viewers. A highlight program featuring the best moments from the 2022 US National Championships received only 572,000 viewers. That's about 0.3% of the Super Bowl's viewers and only 0.12% of the Champions League final viewers. All of this comes down to who gets in front of the public the most. If swimming was on TV more, more people would become fans, but the networks want to stick to what works and that's the tried and true ticket for big time sports. So if you're watching this, you probably like swimming, maybe even enjoy watching the races on TV. But to be real with you, you're in the minority. And that brings me to my next point. A lot of people don't care about swimming because it's boring. I mean, it's more entertaining than watching paint dry. And before you disagree with me, hear me out. Swimming is not a contact sports. Swimmers have to stay in their lanes, you swim back and forth, sometimes for five minutes or longer. There's not really much drama, there's no crazy fouls or intense in-your-face moments like there are in other sports. Swimmers step on the blocks, they dive in, they swim, and they finish. And after a while, people start to lose interest. It's only exciting in the last 25 meters or 15 meters of a race, and that's if it's close. 
but we get to see who touches the wall first. There are only a couple of races that match the intensity and the excitement that we feel when we watch other sports. At the very most, in swimming, we get an epic stare down or a crazy finish celebration. But compared to other non-stop excitement of basketball, hockey, or other sports, swimming is pretty boring. Not only that, but swim meets are long. Most people can't commit to watching hours of repetitive heats of the same event. In the Olympics, there are 37 total swimming events, but only finals and maybe semifinals will make it onto TV. And as hard as we try to make it exciting, swimming will never be as fast paced as other sports in its current format. And another reason that no one cares about swimming is because it's an individual sport. There's no I in team. Think about how many people you know who are diehard fans of a specific sports team. And sure, they might have a few favorite players, but they could end up supporting the same team for decades. In swimming, you have to follow an athlete because, well, that's all you have. When you watch swimming, you don't get to see any of the teamwork that comes together to achieve a team goal. And even with relays, this is pretty minimal. But one of the things that most non-swimmers don't realize is that swimming is a team sport. It's just not as straightforward as football or basketball. I mean, in a typical swim meet, swimmers earn points based on their place in each of their events, and that will contribute to the overall team score. For the true swim fans, it's not about who gets first, second, and third. It's about the overall team finish. But for most people, no one cares about that. Each individual swimmer is still working towards their own unique goals, hitting a best time, beating the person in the lane next to them, or even finishing to get onto the podium. And another reason why swim meets are constructed so poorly is because they don't even show you real-time scores as the meet is progressing. On top of that, swimming is seasonally a niche sport, which has had a huge impact on how popular it can be around the world. But accessibility is also a major factor. Depending on where you grew up, you might not have had access to a swimming pool, let alone a team or a coach. And swimming on a team or taking lessons can be really expensive. If you want to play basketball with friends at school or the park, it's basically free. And this niche status of swimming becomes even more apparent when you look at the enrollment numbers for U.S. sports organizations. According to the 2021 Member Demographics Report, USA Swimming had over 330,000 members. Baseball, on the other hand, has over 15 million athletes in the United States. If you talk to most people in the United States, there's a good chance they've at least attempted to play baseball, basketball, or football, even if it was just for fun. Swim team, on the other hand, it's unlikely to be in the school curriculum, and it's pretty difficult to just pick up on your own like basketball or football. And as a result, people don't know much about swimming, or maybe they've never even tried to swim laps. So to answer the question I posed at the beginning of the video, swimming's limited popularity is the result of all of these different factors coming together to create the perfect storm of apathy. Almost no money and TV time play a role, but so do boring event formats and the accessibility of the sport to people around the world. I know it's not a simple answer, but I don't think that swimming will never grow in popularity. To make real change and bring swimming to the global audience that we know it can have, we need to show the world that swimming is worth watching, it's worth doing, and worth supporting even beyond the Olympics every four years. So that means we need to watch more swimming. We need to encourage our friends, our family, our children, our neighbors to try swimming and to continue sharing the lifetime benefits and the competitive nature of this amazing sport. Times are changing and you watching this video is just one example of that change. Let me know what you think down below in the comments and check out my video about why tech suits were banned in swimming.